74 obviously has a bunch of hammers with Dank, Imar, Makai, and some others, but like, yeah. how much do you expect it to be Kyle? Uh, I'm, I'm expecting it fully 100%. I expect it to be Kyle. Um, there's guys that can beat him. I mean, I think there's a lot of good guys in that weight class that have the chops to make it a tough match, but he's a great wrestler. So it's hard for me to see anyone domestically beating him besides myself. Uh, so I'm fully expecting that he'll be the guy. I'm preparing accordingly. Um, it'd be a pleasant surprise if it wasn't, right? But I know whoever did beat him had to be a tough guy. So I know it's not going to be easy no matter what, whether it's Kyle or whether it's one of the young guys, Masa, Makai, Imar. I know they're, those guys are all tough, all quality opponents. I'm going to have to be prepared. But I think that I want it to be Kyle. Part of me wants it to be Kyle because – that's like the ultimate stamp on my legacy on like, that's just where you just stand there like LeBron, like seeing LeBron's image with his cigar at the press conference is the exact mood that I'll feel after beating Kyle in the finals of the Olympic trials. Um, con contrast your training over the years and how it's evolved to keep your body as fresh as, as you say it feels. Mm. I've had to do a lot of different stuff. Like I think really focusing on my recovery has been important. Like when I was young, I ate whatever I wanted and went out and partied the night before and I could still be up for practice the next morning. It was nothing. But I think now I've focused on my nutrition, making sure that I'm dialed in on my diet, recovery, chiropractic care, uh, massage therapy, cold tub therapy, breathing exercises, like all these little things, yoga, flexibility exercises that I never really did when I was young are, are much different. And I think that really adjusting my mindset, knowing that you don't have to do as much to be as good. I'm a guy that's like an Ironman. I want to go to every practice, go to every event, do every rep on my lift. And if I don't do it, I am OCD where I'm like, damn, that's going to come back and sting me at some point. Man. I lost because I missed that last set of pull-ups on you know October 15th back in 2020. Uh, but I think that having the courage to rest has really been something I've had to adjust to. It's like, hey, listen, it's okay to take a day off. It's okay to be, to over communicate with the coach and say, hey, listen, I'm not really feeling it today. A little sore, tough day, long night, no sleep. I need to take today off. We'll get back after it tomorrow. Um, I think that that's been necessary for me, and I feel good because of it. So my body, surprisingly, has been healthy. I mean, I've only had – I haven't had surgery since my ankle in, back in 2013. So I've had some little minor um, things that have hurt me and bothered me, but nothing that's lingering, and I still feel pretty good. And then do, do you do, – uh, how – is your training on your own? Is it totally structured or is, is it a blend? Yeah, it's, it's structured. It's structured. Um, now that we've gotten back in our room, I th we're fortunate. We're one of the few colleges that have full access to their facility regularly. So I'm lifting three times a week or on the mat four times a week. And I wrestle with the college guys and the rest of our RTC, RTC guys there. So, yeah, we have a bunch of structure now. Um, so for the last, I believe we've been there for eight weeks now. It's a pretty heavily structured uh, regimen that we have over at Nebraska. So it's been working really well. And that's why I was even willing to take this match. So for a while, I was kind of debating because I got offered a match in July on the first card. And I was just like, at the time, I wasn't really training. We were trying to find rooms to train in, hadn't really lifted, wasn't feeling good about where I was physically. But now I'm like, I'm sound physically. It, there's no one under 200 pounds in the world that can beat me in a wrestling match right now. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's go.